times and I'm a performance nutritionist based in London. So I'm going to share with you my rules to uh, performance nutrition. There are specific windows of opportunity to take in macronutrients, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, either before, during and after exercise. So before exercise, you want to eat a solid meal roughly no sooner than an hour and a half before you're going to begin exercise, particularly if it's a game or a, an event. Uh, and in that meal, you would want to make sure that you're eating a good quality source of protein like a fillet of fish or a chicken breast or a small steak. And with that, you would want to eat some carbohydrates. But the type of carbohydrates here is important. It, it needs to be fairly balanced on the glycemic load so that you can prevent these huge spikes in insulin that you're going to get from eating really sugary carbohydrates. So what you would want is maybe some mashed potato or some whole grain rice or some sweet potato. And it's also important that you get some healthy fats such as olive oil or some vegetables as well such as broccoli and carrots and, and peas for instance. So that would be your perfect pre-workout meal within about an hour and a half from beginning exercise. It's also important to make sure that you maintain hydration from that point up and until exercise. So you want to drink water freely and you should be peeing freely, clear urine at that point. During exercise you want to make sure that you're drinking again carbohydrate based drinks. Now the commercial carbohydrate drinks will do um, and they generally contain 15 to 30 grams of glucose in them and consuming 50 to 30 grams of glucose per hour is what's recommended, so, so they will suffice. However, what might be better is to try some healthier sports drinks, such as Vita Coco or Cherry Active. Now, the post-exercise or the post-workout window can be subdivided into three time periods. The immediately post-exercise period of straight away to half an hour post-exercise, the, the next phase would be from half an hour to two hours post-exercise and, and then the next window of opportunity would be between two and four hours post-exercise. In that first window of 30 minutes, you want to make sure you're consuming a protein shake with carbohydrates and a ratio of about four to one of carbohydrate to protein would be sufficient to restock your muscle glycogen and provide amino acids to help your muscles recover. Now between one and a half, uh, sorry, between half an hour to two hours after exercise, you'd want to eat a meal, and that would be a solid meal, again with some quality protein like a steak or a chicken breast. And now you can have some higher glycemic load carbohydrate. So you might want your rice or your, your potato or you know some bread or some pasta if you're not gluten intolerant, but again with some vegetables. And then between two and four hours post-exercise, if you're still hungry. Again, you want to try and restock your muscle glycogen, provide your muscles with amino acids. So snacking on fruit and nuts, for instance, would be a good uh, snack at that point. It's also important to continue to maintain your hydration post-exercise so that when you go to train or play the next day, you're not dehydrated. So again, consuming water with a pinch of salt in it maybe. Uh, will help your kidneys absorb the water and you'll help to stay hydrated in that in that period after exercise. Now if you want to know anything more about sports nutrition then visit my website www.sportsnutritionistlondon.com and I've got a whole host of information there which will help you improve your performance and improve your recovery from exercise.